YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to Banana Zippa Gaming. And today, in honor of one of the upcoming Cage Talks, where I give a review, a short little review on Halloween Kills, where I give my quick and final thoughts, I'm going to be doing a tier list of the Halloween movies, including Halloween Kills. So please be sure to smash that like button, tap that little bell on the YouTube app so you never miss an upload. And remember, this is just my personal opinion. Let's get into the uh, tier list. Up first is Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Now, this is one of the first horror movies that I can remember watching. I love Halloween 4. Uh, Daniel Harris was one of my first horror movie crushes and she is still as beautiful as ever today she plays Michael's little niece in part 4 and 5 and I thought she did a tremendous job in 4 Halloween 4 also had a good little cast as well the, the actress that plays Rachel and this Michael was one of my favorites now up next is a double it is the theatrical cut of the curse of Michael Myers now the, the theatrical cut and the producers cut are basically kind of the same movie but kind of not the theatrical cut has more kills while the producer cut is like more story driven I'm going to say that the theatrical cut is okay. That uh, hospital massacre scene I thought was brutal. And Paul Rudd is in this movie. This is one of Paul Rudd's first roles. And I enjoy the producer's cut. I don't hold it up high, but I don't not like it. Same with... Uh, Both versions, I don't mind. I, I thought they were both okay. That's like really like one of the only differences I, I've noticed. It's been a while since I've seen uh, part six. Speaking of one that I haven't seen in a long time, I'm going to put Halloween 3 right here. I'm not a fan of Halloween 3. I don't like the Michaels I ended, and that's all I can say about that. Up next is Rob Zombie's Halloween. Thumbs down. This is one series that did not need a remake. I know Buster Rhymes, the one with Buster Rhymes, didn't do anything positive for it. But it didn't need a remake. We don't need to know that Michael comes from a bad home. That's basically what I got from this and Scout Taylor Compton did a tremendous job of trying to replace Laurie Strode who it was Jamie Lee Curtis and if she didn't do the second movie I thought she would have been a good one off Laurie Strode I'm just going to do the second movie get it out of the way that movie is just awful. Part one, the first remake is better than this one. I'll admit that. Because this one's awful. We have Michael Talk. Michael looks like a homeless hobo in this movie. And I do not like that. Not one bit. And they brought Danielle Harris back in this one. She didn't die in the remake. Like the original character did in the original Halloween. They brought her back in this one and they cured her off. Halloween 2. The original Halloween 2. I thought it was a well done sequel. And the fact that John Carpenter decided to make them brother and sister I thought was a nice twist when I first saw this movie. Way back in the day. And I still like Halloween too. I mean, it takes place in a hospital. There's only so much you can do there. 
but I personally love watching one, two, four, six, and then I watch the producers cut of six and seven. Part eight, I'm iffy about. And part five, I really don't like watching part five. Because of uh, a few characters that are annoying. Speaking of part five, Halloween five, The Revenge of Michael Myers. I'm sorry, I'm about to give it a thumbs down. This was Danielle Harris's last outing as Jamie. They replaced her for part six, and that upset a lot of fans. Uh, Michael gets saved by a man in black who turns out to be Terrence Wynn, who was there all along. And Terrence Wynn is the one that broke him out of prison. And Terrence Wynn is supposedly supposed to be the one that helped him escape in 1978. Halloween 5 was just bad overall. And uh, they had a character named Michael. Not Michael Myers. They had a character named Michael on this one. Just let that sink in. And the mask looks awful. Halloween H2O. I thought Halloween H2O was a terrific attempt. Wait, that's not Halloween H2O. Oops. (laughs) Halloween H2O was a terrific attempt. To restart the series, because I believe that they were gonna have Josh Hartnett be the main focal point for the next two movies, but that didn't happen. Halloween H two O takes place at a boarding school, and I thought it was a really good job at a attempt of a re- remake or a completely new timeline because it's. Part 4, 5, and 6 never happened, according to H2O. I like H2O. I thought it was good. And I still think it, it holds up to this day. I'm going to save Halloween Kills for the end. Halloween Resurrection. Now, Halloween Resurrection... I'm going to surprise some people here. It's okay. I mean, Michael Myers coming home to people trying to make a reality TV show does sound stupid but that is something that people would do. People would break into a house like the Myers house that's abandoned for years and attempt to uh, try and get clout by spending the night in the Myers house. The only thing that is wrong uh, about this movie is they killed Laurie Strode off so soon. They should have kept Laura Strode alive and have her come in and try and save Sarah. At the end is what I think should have happened. The original Halloween. The original Halloween is a masterpiece. John Carpenter did a tremendous job making this movie back, back in the day. I, for one was spooked when I first saw this movie when I was a little kid. And it is still arguably one of the best slasher horror movies ever. John Carpenter started a franchise and I don't think he meant to start one like this. He wanted to do an anthology series. But he made a character that people love so much that Halloween became the Michael Myers series. And it all started with this one, The Night He Came Home. And up next, we have Halloween 2018. Halloween 2018 is the third, fourth uh, timeline. I thought Halloween 2018 was well done. And when they announced Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends are going to be... Film back to back, and Halloween Kills happens the same night as Halloween ends. I said, okay, so we're going to get a cliffhanger. And we kind of did. Uh, the cliffhanger, uh, Lori, Allison, and Karen set Lori's house on fire. And they trapped Michael inside. I thought the kills were some of the best, better kills 
in the series. Uh, the actor that plays Julian, I thought he did a good job because I heard he improvised all his lines. And the actress that plays Allison and Dana and Vicky, I really liked those three actresses. And the actor that plays Cameron, he did a good job because we were supposed to hate him and we did. And up next is the newest Halloween movie that is out in theaters now, or you can stream it exclusively on Peacock. And that is Halloween Ends. Now, Halloween Ends, this has the highest body count of any Halloween movie. I believe it's like 31, 32 people. 30, like 31 if you count uh, the cop that Hawkins accidentally killed. But Michael, he goes ham in this one. He some creative, some brutal kills. Big John and Little John, like I said, are in my review, which will come out closer to Halloween. I thought they did a tremendous job there. You made like supporting characters that we cared about, and you brought people back from the original series. You brought Mary back. You brought Lindsay back. He brought uh, Sheriff Brackett back. He's now the security at the uh, hospital. Laurie Strode is obviously back. You have all these characters that are, came back, and a good chunk of them died. Tommy got his face bashed in with a baseball bat. Uh, Mary got stabbed repeatedly, and uh, Brackett got his throat slit, and Lindsay got beat up, but she got taken away. So she's in the hospital with Laurie. And they did some flashback scenes with uh, Hawkins. And we see a Loomis, which is not Donald Pleasance, and you can tell. But they did the best that they could. I enjoy Halloween Kills, but I'm going to have to put it out well done. Just because of that cliffhanger ending where, spoiler alert, three, two, one, Karen dies. So we think. Go watch the movie and f- and find out for yourself what I mean by you think. Because she looks dead, but obviously she could possibly pull a Sheriff Hawkins. Because he died in Halloween 8, 2018, but he, came, he stayed alive long enough for a camera to save him. And he was brought back in Halloween Kills. Now that is my tier list of the Halloween movies up until Halloween Kills. Please let me know what you think down in the comments below. We are on the road to 500 subscribers. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.